Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a homemade coconut cake from scratch with also a coconut buttercream frosting to go with it. So here I have some of the ingredients to start the cake off, but I'm gonna walk you through everything that I have and the measurements of it. So here in this bowl, I have two and three fourths cup of flour, or you can use cake flour. If you're gonna use cake flour, you don't have to sift it together like I did and also one and one half teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right here in this bowl is two thirds cup of coconut milk, one half cup of sour cream. You're gonna need five eggs room temperature. Also the sour cream needs to be room temperature as well. I got three sticks of butter which also need to be at room temperature. I have coconut extract, butter extract, and vanilla extract. And here I have the coconut that's uh, sweetened, but that's gonna be for later use, so I have that covered with some saran wrap. And back here is the sugar. The sugar is two and two thirds cup. So I'm gonna put the wet ingredients together, then after that we'll get to mixing in the mixer. So okay, with the coconut milk, you wanna add the half cup of sour cream, Make sure you get it all out. All right. Oh no, I just hate weights and stuff. <laughs> okay, and to that, you're gonna do, let's get our extracts in there. This is the vanilla. I'm going to be using two tablespoons, two teaspoons, sorry, of this. That's one. And that's two. Coconut. Wow, this stuff smells good already. The coconut is also two teaspoons as well if it ever comes out all the way. Okay, that's one. And that's two. And the butter extract. The butter extract is gonna be only one teaspoon. Okay, there you have it. Now we're just gonna whisk all of this together. Just make sure it's all well incorporated because sometimes coconut milk can be lumped up. You don't wanna leave any lumps in here because this is gonna be your wet mixture like as if you were adding milk or water or anything else you would normally add <laughs> to cake but this is gonna be our milk mixture. It's not much body to it. Okay, so that's done. So now, let's get to mixing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with adding our room temperature butter, our three sticks. Guys, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention earlier that uh, <clears throat> the butter should be unsalted butter. I'm gonna add that. Okay, now with this, you wanna cream a little bit before you add the sugar. 
just to get some air incorporated into it so that you can have a fluffy fluffy mix okay so Just a little bit, not much longer, maybe about a minute. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm going to turn it down low and start adding the sugar. Turn it up a little bit. Now I'm going to mix this on medium until it gets light and fluffy for about eight minutes. I'll be back when it's completed to show you exactly what your mix should look like before we add the eggs. Okay, guys, this is the butter and sugar mixture, five minute into its mixing process. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to stop there for a second and you can start to see the way that it's starting to get creamy and fluffy. You just want to mix that a little bit more and also in between you want to scrape down your sides so that it gets mixed properly and fully. Okay, so I'm going to let this go for another three to four minutes, depending on how it's looking. And I will show you again. Okay, so I've reached my max point of creaming together the butter and sugar. So here, here's the final results. It's thickness. This is exactly what you want. So I'm going to put that back in there and turn it back on low and add the mixture of, well, not add the mixture. I'm going to add the eggs. <laughs> the eggs and eggs. Okay, so back on low. Add one egg at a time. And this part, you definitely don't want to do any over mixing because you don't want your cake to be gummy. Come on, get in there, get in there. Somebody doesn't want to go. I'm going to do another one. You know what? I'm going to change my paddle attachment to this. I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry guys, I made a mistake. So we're still at the second egg part. Still have three. And like I said, you want to be careful not to over mix this part. So there's your third egg. Fourth egg. And the fifth egg. Once this is incorporated, I'm going to alternate between our mixture that we made with the coconut milk and the sour cream and the extracts and the flour.
Okay, and you want to have this on low because you don't want the flower cloud. Okay, so here we go with some of the flower. Some of the milk. Flower. Nope. In between, you can't stop like I'm going to do now to scrape down your sides to make sure everything is mixed in evenly. Well, I'm loving the smell of this coconut, man. All right, so let's pick up what we left off. Okay, some flour. And the rest of the milk mixture, the coconut mixture. And lastly, the rest of the flour. I'm going to stop this for one second just to get all of this down because this is going to be the final mix right here before we add it to our cake pans. And at this time, you should be having your uh, oven preheated to 325 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes. All right. Now we can speed it up. But not for long because I don't want to over mix it. Mm, that is good enough. All right, guys. So I'm going to get my cake pans ready. We're going to spray those bad boys down and pop this in the oven. And I'll be right back to show you that. Okay, so here's the final result of the cake batter. You always want to make sure your batter is thick. If your cake batter is not thick, then you're going to have a problem with your cake baking. Thick batter is the best batter. Okay, so I'm going to spray down these pans. Normally, you can do it the uh, the old-fashioned way and just grease the, the pans with some, uh, some butter and a flour dusting. I'm not doing that today. And that's it. Now I'm going to divide these evenly between the two pans. And then we'll pop them in the oven. And if you're not sure about this, you can always use a, uh, a scale or a measuring cup to kind of even it out. I just don't like doing all of that because I don't like wasting a batter because sometimes it gets, well, it does get stuck in, you know, the measuring cups. You kind of just want to spread it around a little bit so you can get an idea if you're going to do it this way.
Okay, so now we can split this right down the middle. And by the way, these are nine inch uh, bacon pans. <clears throat> All right, and there we have it. Y'all know me already if you've been watching my videos. I got to get everything. Can't leave nothing behind. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's give this... Uh, smooth out then we'll tap it to release the air bubbles and to make sure it's flattened out so it can have an even bake all right okay Okay, it looks about right to me. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's toothpick clean. But we'll be checking that part together. So I'm gonna put these in the oven right now and I'll be back when it's time to check on them. Okay, so our cake is done. And this is what you want it to look like. You don't want the center of it to be too light because there's a possible chance that your cake might not be done in the middle. And once it cools, it will be gummy. And that's also if you over mix it. So I'm gonna do the toothpick test with you guys. Came out clean, yeah baby. So we're gonna do the second one, right down the middle, clean too. All right, so there you have it. All right, let's get this buttercream frosting ready and whipped up so we can dress this cake. So I'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, y'all, it's about that time cream frosting. So we're gonna start out with whipping our three sticks of unsalted butter into our stand mixer. You can also do this by a hand mixer. That's quite okay. And make sure your butter is room temperature. Right, right, right. So we got that in there. So we're gonna whip this until it's color and fluffy for about five minutes. That's if I raise it. Now mix. And every now and then you can scrape down your bowl, which I need to do right now because that butter over there didn't quite come down. Off of the side right away. All right, so you can continue on medium speed. For about five minutes so when we reach that time I will be right back to show you exactly what it looks like whenever you're looking for a fluffy light color and for it to have some sort of peak to it I'll be right back all right so it's about five minutes now and I just want to show you real quickly what it should begin to look like at this point so here's the stiffness that you're looking for. The fluffy whiteness, that's what you want. And it should be not so, it should not be so easy to come off of your uh, spatula. So when it's like that, you know that it's ready. You can scrape down the sides and after I scrape down the sides, we're gonna start to incorporate four and a half cups of 
powdered sugar or as some may call it confectioner's sugar so I'm gonna do that now but let me start this lightly and do this slow because you don't want sugar to get everywhere you don't add it all at once okay. Slow down. And during this process, you still want to every now and then turn this off so you can scrape down your sides so everything gets fully incorporated. Just turning it up every now and then just to get it mixed because if I let it go too slow it's not gonna mix I'm only turning it down to put the, the sugar in and guys the uh, ingredients will be in the description below how to make this so if I didn't give you the measurements amount during the process of making this don't worry it'll be in the description Right, the last of the sugar. Just give that a, a quick scrape. Okay, get all that off. All right. Okay, you just want to make sure that is completely blended together the sugar and the butter and now you want to add your one fourth teaspoon of salt it has to be fine salt use that So I'm going to turn this down. Now I'm going to add my extracts. To this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of butter extract. Two, two teaspoons of coconut extract. Because remember, this is a coconut cake. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to turn that up so it gets completely mixed. Looking good, looking good. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. And depending on the thickness you want your uh, to be, 
that will depend on the amount of liquid you'll add to your mixture. Right here I have two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of coconut milk. So I'm gonna slowly add this. Sorry, I need to scrape this bowl down, get all the liquid off the sides because I don't want anything to be runny. All right. And if your mixture is a little loose, you can just pop it in the fridge for a little bit and let the butter come together again and it'll be slightly solid. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we did here. Let's check it out, check it out. Okay, and this is the perfect stiffness. Look, it's not even falling off. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so that is ready. So I'm gonna scrape down my sides, get this mess cleaned up, and we're gonna frost our cake and add the coconut, of course that I had from earlier. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's time to complete this cake. We have our two cake layers here, our coconut and our frosting that we just made, our coconut buttercream frosting that we just made. So the cakes are perfect. See that color? And this is gonna be an easy release. I can see already the way that it pulled away from the pan during the bacon. Clean. Place that first layer down. And you can see how moist it is. You see that? Soft to the touch. All right, so we're gonna go with this first layer. See, that's that buttercream, coconut flavored icing we have. So I am not a professional baker. So as far as properly icing this cake, <laughs> that may not happen, but I'll promise to make it look, you know, the best that I can. And you wanna go in the middle with a generous amount Just probably a little bit more. Not much, just a tad bit. Okay. That looks about good. Okay, so let's put that second layer on. Another clean. All right, looks about right to me. Now, let's add the rest of this icing or frosting either way, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down to the sides.
This smells so good. Man. Okay, that's an even layer at the top. Now I can see that. Okay, now we're good. All right, let's get a little more and start bringing it down the sides. And guys, don't forget to like this video and definitely subscribe so you can get more recipes from me and also share this video it's all good with me and definitely leave some comments in the section down below Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's add a little more. It's like this recipe makes just enough for this cake. Just enough of this uh, icing, this frosting. And also, if you don't want to, you don't have to put as much frosting because remember, you're going to be putting the coconut on here. So it doesn't have to be much of it on there. Probably a little too much. I may take some off. We'll see how it looks once I'm completely done. And I'll, I'll figure it out. You know what? I'm leaving it. I'm not taking nothing off. All this hard work I put in, we're going to use this. <laughs> okay. Let's just go around and smooth it out a little bit. Because remember, you don't need this to be perfect because you're going to put the coconut on. I think that's good enough. Now, let's even that out, the top layer. Whoa, baby, whoa. It doesn't matter if that shows. I know most cakes, they do like a crumb coat, which is putting a thin layer of uh, frosting on it. We don't have to do that because we are putting coconut on here. So that's that. Okay, enough playing. So let's put that coconut on. Okay, so with the coconut, you just want to take it, flake it up a little bit. See that? And you can sprinkle.